From the Riffs! Hey, welcome back to From the Riffs. I'm Big Will Johnson. Carmen Blair. And uh, today, we're going to talk about playing in fantasy. Uh, so, maybe you're an SCA guy. Maybe do a little heavy fighting. Wife is sick and tired of you coming home, beat up, beat the crap. She doesn't feel like polishing your armor for you. <laughs> like that happens. <laughs> anyway, you know, so you got to get your, your sword and sandal kick somehow, right? Boom. There it is. Right here. Now, playing in fantasy is a little different from your typical fantasy because, well, it's a little more grounded. Yeah, a little, a little more, more realistic. A little more realistic, and uh, we'll get into that as, uh, as we go further along. Yeah, to give you an idea of the world of Palladium, if, you, if you're into any kind of the shows or movies where magic is more sedate, so the Lord of the Rings, the Hobbit, um, Game of the Game of Thrones, especially that new television series that's out, um, any of those kind where, yeah, there's magic in the world, and yes, uh, if you met a sorcerer, you'd be worried, like a wizard is a really big deal, but there's not a wizard at every damn street corner. Right. I mean, some, a lot of these, um, I don't want to name a competitor, but but a lot of these... Uh, fantasy. Fantasy system. Yeah, fantasy games. dungeon type games. Um, there, it seems like there's magic and wizards everywhere. everywhere. It's just the you entire know? world is saturated with magic. Oh, you want to walk across the street? No problem. Use magic. Yeah. You, you know, you need to eat? Oh, no problem. Use magic. Can't carry everything? No problem. Use magic. Um, I actually find that a bit overwhelming, yeah. and I think it's also a bit overwhelming for anybody who, A, is really just getting into the fantasy genre, or even doesn't care for it that much, or B, just getting into role-playing, yeah. because then it becomes an entire lexicon of terminologies that you need to learn overnight, but anyway. Yeah, or if you just want to play a character who's, okay, um, maybe, maybe I'm the son of a noble and I have a sword, right, and I'm out to earn my way in the world. Or you're playing a character who's, uh, you know, maybe he's the son of a peasant blacksmith and he's trying to move up in the world. Well, if there's magic everywhere and everyone can use it, that doesn't leave a lot of room for the non-magical characters to grow. Playing a fantasy is nice in that there is room for it to grow. Yet, on the other hand, when you do want to play a magical character, you are not just one of zillions. When you show up in a town, it makes your character special. Because there are not a whole bunch of wizards walking around everywhere. So when you show up, it's like, oh, hey, a wizard. Yeah, oh, come on in, sir. You know, hey, yes, we can really use your help. Thank you. <laughs> um, you know, or if you're a priest, if you're a priest in town, it means something. Because, yeah, there's, ma there, there's, there's you know, magic in that. But the gods have real influence. And so your priest has a, a, actually can do something. Mm -hmm. um, it, 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 it's that... It's that trying to give all the characters a place in the game. Absolutely. Now, you can play everything in this game from a noble paladin or knight uh, down through things like, uh, you know, a typical soldier, a mercenary. Uh, you can play a vagabond, a peasant, or if you go into mages, you know, you can magic users and psychics. And it really just, does. Yeah, the, the world is really rounded out well. Um, the The... Palladium fantasy world itself is laid out in such a way that um, you you almost get you get a nice balance of uh, different societies and different yeah. groupings and even different religions, as well as I mean you can even go on the high seas. There's swashbuckling, yeah. and there's pirates, and there's islands to explore. Um, I would say Palladium fantasy is a little more Conan, Lord of the Rings, and far less. Yeah, um, far less the. It's not the epic. It's not the epic type magic. It's it's it, it, it's the epic adventure, but not epic, epic magic. Yeah. Epic adventure, but yeah, less epic magic. Yes. Oh. The uh, the other part is it too. There's also not only are there you know a nice uh, smattering of of different classes you can play and different ways of playing and role playing you can do. There's also a lot of different races. Unlike most games, most games of fantasy, you, you have the, the like big three. So you can play a human, a dwarf, or an elf, right? Okay, humans, dwarfs, and elves are in there. That's everybody's day. Um, along with things like gnomes, okay, a big deal, it's a gnome. 
Uh, but there's also stuff that's really cool, like you can play an orc, you can play a troll, you can play an ogre, you can play a troglodyte, you can play a wolfen, which is like a giant uh, humanoid canine. Um, you can play uh, a coyote, it's like the kind of a step down from that, uh, uh, like a smaller uh, humanoid uh, uh, canine. Um, you, there's giants in there you can play if you decide to play a, a, a large game. There's one, well, there's one of the world books called uh, uh, Mount uh, Nimro that it's, uh, it's all about playing just giants. It's play big basically is the name of it. Um, it it's everything. It's, it's all these different things. So you, you can have such a wealth of experience to play in, but you know you never you never lost in that in that uh, in some settings. It's just like oh, there's no you know, there's no real world. I mean, Palladium is one nice big continent basically, with a bunch of different nations, as he said, and you know a bunch of places to 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 go and adventure and see and do. And they're all they all get nice world books. They're all nicely laid out. It gives you a real feel for each thing. Um, I especially like the early world books because they lay out towns like building by building. You know, everything you can go find or go do. And then there's some of the others that, that kind of cover the wilderness type areas. Yeah. Well, well they're, they're laid out more with, uh, you know, random charts and stuff or like what you can encounter there as well as what the regions are like and, you know, what it's like to live and be there. I mean, it just so much cool shit. Yeah, it's very, it's very full. Uh, it, it, it is a robust line of books. Um, as always, you you know it, it's that megaverse uh, continuity. You can pretty much splice things in, although I technology doesn't really work so well no, not really. <laughs> in Palladium Fantasy, and nor should it. Um, however, you know it, 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 it wouldn't be a very difficult thing to have. Um, you know, a Nightbane character yeah, in Nightbane. Palladium Fantasy, uh, or even... Um, well, we've had superpowers. We did we've that. had superpowers in Palladium Fantasy, and it worked. Yeah. Yes, it can be done through the power of the Megaverse. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> you know, uh, I really can't say enough about the uh, about Palladium Fantasy, because, I mean, it really is. It's, it, it's a really great line of books. I've enjoyed um, all the campaigns I've played in it. Um, the books themselves... Well illustrated. As you can see, these are just these books are beautiful. really thick and they're beautiful. I mean, you get a lot, a lot of bang for your book, your buck, your book buck, and uh, so you're you're looking at you know a, a pretty good line. But really, you only need the main book yeah. to run. Yeah, everything the, else is is pure optional. Yeah, the the main book has basically everything you need to play the game, and then you get other books like these two here. Basically, have like. Big resources for monsters and dragons and that kind of stuff. There's also the bestiary. And yeah, there's. Uh, I mean, there's there's just a whole bunch of stuff. And like I said, there's world books that cover all the different parts of it. Um, it is much more. Uh, again, another one of those role playing focused games because magic and technology is not that big a deal. It means you're. It's more about who and what you are. It's about you know how your your character gets along with people. I should be you know like the the races in this game don't all get along. It's not happy go lucky elves and dwarves singing and, and la 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 tra la la I mean there are people some races just can't stand each other because they've, they've you know they've had bad blood in the past I mean there was this thing in the in the history of Palladium where the elf dwarf war so elves and dwarves like you know they come and meet in a room and it's like uh, you know yeah, they're reaching for the yeah, weapons everybody's, and, but I mean, and that's pretty standard I mean we've seen that in a lot of but it's, it's really well written in, in the Palladium line, uh, you have your, your Wolfens, and they kind of operate as a almost like a Roman imperialism. Oh yeah, and uh, they really they have a very elitist attitude. Uh, and why shouldn't they? They're nine feet tall, uh, you know, walking canids, and they, so you have this this entire. Um, there is a bit of a there's there's a back woven backstory Sorry, yeah. for all of these races. And so you can have a completely political game. You can have a game where really you're just dealing. Your job is not to go you know, to find the mystic sword of you know undoing and rescue the maiden. No, no. Your job is to simply get this ambassador to these peace talks to ensure that these particular this particular group of guys doesn't come in and slaughter everybody. Yeah, and, it, it's 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 well it's well set up to play. Various types of games. You can play the quest. You can play the treasure hunt. You can play a dungeon crawl, but you can play a political game. You can play 
you know, uh, a game of intrigue or skullduggery or whatever you want. I mean, you can, there's all, they, they all work well in there, and a lot of game systems, they don't. So that's, that's basically it. Yeah. That's basically it for the, the, the overview. Uh, we do have an in-depth review, which is already up. So now that you've seen this, go check that out too. So I'm Big Will Johnson. Carmeler. And this is Run the Wrist. See you Bye. later.